Here is the water heater for my home and currently there is no thermal expansion tank. Let's measure the fluctuation of water pressure over time in the plumbing system. Open the hose bib in the front yard to release pressure in the plumbing system and close it. Connect a water pressure gauge to the hose bib. This gauge has two needles. The black needle indicates the current water pressure and the red needle records the highest water pressure. Open the valve, the black needle indicates that the current water pressure is 55 psi, which is the pressure value regulated by the pressure reducing valve. Turn the red needle back to the position of the black needle so that it can start recording the highest pressure. The black needle will push the red needle when the pressure increases but the red needle does not move with the black needle when the pressure decreases, that is why the red needle can record the highest pressure. After 24 hours, the red needle is now at 98 psi. So during the past 24 hours, the thermal expansion in the plumbing system increased the water pressure from 55 psi up to 98 psi. 98 psi is too high for the home plumbing system. Although the pressure reducing valve regulates the incoming city water pressure down to 55 psi, the thermal expansion due to the heating cycles of water heater increases the water pressure up to 98 psi. So a thermal expansion tank is needed to mitigate the pressure increase induced by thermal expansion. Due to the limited space around the water heater, I was not able to record a video of the whole installation process, but in the description of this video, I have listed the main items used for this installation. Here is the installed thermal expansion tank for this water heater. It is installed on the cold water supply side of the water heater. The size of the expansion tank is 2 gallons, which is recommended for a 50 gallon water heater. The expansion tank is secured to the wall by using a support and mounting bracket. A ball valve is installed between the water heater and expansion tank. This ball valve is used to isolate the expansion tank from the water heater when the expansion tank needs to be adjusted or replaced in future. Before installation, the pressure in the expansion tank was adjusted to 55 psi, the same value as the pressure regulated by the pressure reducing valve. Now let's measure the change of water pressure over time. After 24 hours, the red needle is now at 69 psi. So during the past 24 hours, the thermal expansion in the plumbing system increased the water pressure from 55 psi up to 69 psi. Here are the water pressure variations induced by heating cycles of the water heater before and after installing the expansion tank. It is obvious that the thermal expansion tank can effectively stabilize the water pressure, as indicated by a much smaller pressure variation range. After the installation of thermal expansion tank, the highest pressure induced by thermal expansion is 69 psi, which is a safe pressure value for the home plumbing system. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you find the information here helpful. Good luck with your project.